Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the RAM on the Lenovo Legion Wi-Fi 30 and Wi-Fi 40. If you bought one of these machines with 8GB of RAM, you can get a substantial performance increase from upgrading. Because as well as the increased amount of memory, it will also run in dual channel mode, giving you a performance improvement of about 5-10% to in most applications and games. Although you can buy these machines pre-configured with 16GB of RAM, it's cheaper just to buy the 8GB version and then upgrade the RAM yourself. Lenovo charge almost €80 Euros to upgrade from 8 to 16GB of RAM at the time of purchase, while I bought a second memory module online for under €35. Euros. Fortunately, Lenovo has made it very easy to upgrade. The 8GB Wi-Fi 30 and Wi-Fi 40 machines ship with a single 8GB memory module and one free memory slot, meaning that you just have to add a second memory module with the same speed and capacity to double your RAM to 16GB. Both the Wi-Fi 30 and Wi-Fi 40 take DDR4 SO DIMMs running at 2666MHz. In my case, I've purchased the G-Skill RIP JAWS DDR4 2666SO DIMM, which is the same size and speed as the RAM already installed. I'll leave a link to this exact RAM in the description of this video. Now let's get started with the disassembly. First, shut the computer down, close the lid and turn it upside down. There are five long screws in the fan area marked by the red circles and six short screws marked by the blue circles under the keyboard. Remove them using a size 0 or double zero crosshead screwdriver. Once the screws have all been removed, the lower case is still held on by clips. Turn the laptop onto its edge and bend out the lower case a little to make a gap. To undo the clips, insert a plastic card into this gap and work it around the edge of the machine, twisting it away from you. You'll hear some clicks as the clips are undone. Take extra care in the areas around the port so as not to damage anything. Once the clips on the sides and back have been undone, you can rotate the bottom case towards the back and lift it off. The two memory slots are located under a metal shield in the middle of the motherboard. To remove the metal shield, use the same plastic card, inserting it into the gap between the shield and the motherboard to release it from the clips and then lift it straight up off the board. Now take your RAM module and lining up the notch on the memory with the notch in the socket, slide it into place at a 45 degree angle. Then rotate it down until the RAM clicks into place and it's held by the metal clips either side of the socket. And that's it, the RAM is installed. Now you can go ahead and replace the metal shield over the memory slots by lining up the edges of the shield with the clips and then pushing down firmly around the edge. You can then replace the rear cover reattaching the clips by pushing down firmly around the edge of the laptop. And then replace the screws, making sure to replace the longer screws at the back and the shorter screws at the front. Once the screws have been replaced, you can turn the laptop over, open the screen and turn it on. Immediately after turning the laptop on, repeatedly pressing the F2 key should bring up the BIOS screen. Under the Information tab next to System Memory, you should see that the RAM now reads 16,384MB, which is exactly 16GB. If it doesn't, open up the laptop again and make sure that the memory is properly installed all the way into the slot. Once you've confirmed that the RAM has been recognised, you can press Escape or F10 to exit the BIOS and boot into Windows. And enjoy the increased performance from the extra RAM. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.